Good evening, and welcome to tonight's fireside chat with Lemon Box, actually with the founder and CEO, Derek Wang. My name is Mark Tebby. I'm here to spend this evening with you to talk a little bit with Derek to understand his background and his uh, creation of MVC's um, team called Lemon Box and what he's done since the MVC. And for those that are in Asia, good morning. This is being broadcast both live in um, the US, so it's evening, and in the Asia for the morning. I want to thank everyone for participating tonight and super excited as we're getting ready for getting ready for the MVC at 25 to be able to do these fireside chats and to bring back some of our alumni to share some of their insights, learnings, and uh, capabilities that they've been able to leverage out of Booth into the real world. And so tonight with Derek, I'm looking forward to having a nice fireside chat with him. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. Good morning, Derek, how are you? Hey, Mark, how are you? Great. So I remember meeting you when you were a student here in Chicago. But let's let's right. not even, before we start talking about your time here in Chicago, let's talk about your time before Chicago. What's your background? Where did you grow up? What brought you, what did you do in undergrad? What did you do post-grad before you came to grad school? What brought you to Chicago? Uh, well, um, yeah, I grew up in China. I was born and raised in uh, China. Um, and I finished my undergrad in, uh, in Shanghai. <clears throat> um, but when I grew up, um, when I uh, when I was growing up, I uh, I, I didn't know much about uh, anything outside of uh, uh, you know my home hometown or China, but I always wanted to you know uh, see different things and explore different experiences. That's why I was well, I, after uh, I, after I finished my undergrad, I was uh, really excited about having this opportunity to go study abroad, and of course uh, um, I needed to find a place to go. Um, um, <clears throat> so I got. A, I, I was applying to schools, to different schools, and uh, um, when the when the opportunity came up from Chicago, I was like, "Wow, this is a place uh, where where uh, Michael Jordan played at Chicago Bulls." I was like, "This is great." <laughs> I grew up watching Michael Jordan, you know. Uh, that's why I took the opportunity went to uh, DePaul University at, at Chicago. So I think that's how I started from uh, from uh, from uh, uh, heading heading. Uh, interaction uh, intersection that was in Chicago, the city. Um, after um, after after I finished my master at DePaul with a finance degree, I started working uh, um, in different companies in locally in Chicago, like Merrill Lynch and the Morningstar, as a financial analyst. But I always had opportunities, uh, 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 ideas, wanted to go to um, uh, do startups and everything. That's why I also. Uh, starting experiencing uh, uh, different uh, teams and different people at the Chicago's uh, uh, entrepreneurial world, but you know that's how kind of I started with the, with the, with, the, with the Chicago <laughs> and my studies uh, outside of China. Well, we're very lucky that that Michael Jordan was able to draw you here. Um, did you? How did you know growing up in China that you always wanted to be an entrepreneur? Well. Um, well, first of all, um, my parents are they're they're you know they're growing up. Uh, they're they're also um, just, you know entrepreneurs. Um, they 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 run all their own businesses. Um, I grew up in, in a city in China called Wenzhou. It's a um, it's it's kind of famous of a uh, you know people running small you know, businesses in the nineties and eighties. Um, so so. So I grew up in a family that are, that are having having a kind of entrepreneur environment, right? So it was it was always a deep in my blood. Um, you know, when when you go to B school, you know, it's always a life changing opportunity to go to such a pre prestigious you know institute like U Chicago. I I gotta do some deep searching, right? I, I always ask myself. I've done you know I've I've uh, I've been a couple of uh, you know great companies. I, I've worked with a great great people. Um, uh, what's really, really in my passion, uh, you know, wanted to pursue for my 30 years of uh, uh, later for my career. What, what, what kind of things I choose, I wouldn't regret my life. Uh, uh, so entrepreneur is always uh, deep in my blood, it's thanks to my parents. That's why I, I, I after after school, uh, after uh, MVC, you know, I, I, I just know, I just kind of untap my, 
potential, my interest uh, through all these experiences. So that's why I might find my passion. That's why um, I think uh, I, I needed to thank my parents. And I also want to thank the school. That's awesome. And you know, yeah. since you brought up about the industry, let's talk a little bit about that. Um, <laughs> you're a rarity, I got to tell you. There are not many students who have been able to participate three times in the NBC like you have. I mean, that is, I, I think it's just a handful of students who were able to do that. And you did it in amazing style. So I remember when I first met you, you were a student and you were on the team Lupo. What did Lupo do and what, what was the goal of the company? Well, um, I think I was back in like uh, uh, 20, uh, uh, 2012 or 2013. I, uh, like I said, I was an international student back then. Um, I think I would, do, uh, I, when I was an international student, you know, I, I just, uh, I think I, I would, uh, I was doing pretty, uh, I was doing fairly uh, well as a student, as an international student, you know, exploring different uh, things, looking for jobs, you know, applying for schools meeting new people, getting my life settled down over there in New City. So I kind of uh, writing a few uh, blocks, you know, uh, uh, on, on internet, sharing my story and help trying to helping other people. Um, and then uh, uh, just a lot of people coming to find me and they say, hey, you know, can you can you please help me with your own, you know, experience and everything. Um, so I started having the idea, hey, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I, can I just apply what I learned here and to more people, more international students, because it was a just booming trend for people coming to Chicago or coming to the U.S. for for higher education, etc. So, so, so I started having this idea of creating a social network. At that time, it was a pretty you know California model all of that. Um, I creating a social network to help you know students uh, come together and uh, start sharing things with the with them on each other. So, so that was a whole purpose of the idea of you know, bringing people together for as an international student community and uh, to help people uh, start a new life in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a new in, in entirely new country. So, so that was the whole purpose. That's cool. I mean, so that was 2014 <clears throat> and you ended up going the full distance in it, but ended up not making the finals. But I was surprised the next year to see you back and in your second year with a company called Wheelio. What, what what did Wheelio do? Well, um, just bringing back my memories. Um, Wheelio, I think uh, that was. Uh, I I think I was when I was applying for uh, but my first uh, first venture, uh, Lupo. It was uh, it was a. Uh, I, I I wasn't with a uh, with a uh, with. Uh, I wasn't applying as a booth student. I was applying as a Harris student. Uh, uh, public policy degree because I was doing the joint degree. So in my second year. I was actually uh, a, I was officially a booth student, and I was uh, I was just talking to my classmates, right? You know, for the booth student because a lot of newcomers booth students they also wanted to do entrepreneur uh, route, and they also interested in MVC. And I was starting sharing my MVC, you know, hey, you know, hey, I have this MVC experience already, you know, check me out, you know, if you want to learn anything, let me know. And then a little student coming came up to me and I said, hey, <clears throat> do you want to do something together? So um, there's a very uh, good student. I was, uh, I think we were in a, a same uh, Davis cohort. Um, um, he was like, "Hey, um, I have an idea um, that uh, that uh, people are just, you know, at that time we a lot of uh, booth students living in a, a downtown, right? I don't know about now, but we we come and back and forth with a hopper, uh, uh, um, you know, it just took a lot of efforts. We take train and we we we, we some people drive." A drove and, and, and a lot of them do carpooling, but it was just really, you know, hustling experience. And every time we, you know, get off of a class and in the four p.m., people just running each other, you know, grab people. Hey, do you have a car? Do you want to just go together back to uh, the downtown area? And then we start having this idea. Hey, can we <clears throat> create a carpooling app? You know, just help people with this experience. So, so at that time, Uber didn't have their um, didn't have the uh, 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 Uber pool, um, you know. So, so carpooling app was just necessary, very necessary feature for for people to commute and then and, 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 uh, uh, together. So, so we we would then. Uh, so, Wheelio is just actually carpooling app at that time. Now it sounds really, um, I guess, 
<clears throat> outdated, but at that time it was much needed a service for and to solve people real real life problems. <clears throat> For, for all reality, it was six years ago. I mean, Uber was just getting started a couple of years before that. So it was very innovative. And it actually made it to the finals and you guys won some cash. But you graduated. And then right, what did right. you go do? Huh? And Sorry. Went, I said, and then you, but you decided to, you already had a job. You graduated. And what did you do uh, after you graduated from Booth? Yeah. Um, like I said, you know, after, after Booth, it was just uh uh, a lot of I did a lot of uh, soul searching, a lot of uh, a lot of uh, um, a lot of uh, just you know looking, looking, uh, looking toward the future. Uh, um, I, I I still remember that uh, that uh, MVC, um, you know, did a huge impact on me, and uh, and also um, I was just thinking, uh, uh, what what I want to uh, do in the future. So. Um, I just realized a few things I want to do. Uh, first, I I I, I want to continue my entrepreneurial path, but uh, but uh, um, so sure. so what do I do, right? So I need you need to pick up something uh, uh, in the industry or ideas you wanted to go into. Um, then then um, I, I I look into myself. Um, I I realized a few things I wanted to uh, uh, um, go by, right? One is a uh, uh, I want to. I want to continue with the technology industry. I, I feel like the technology is 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 gonna you know change things in 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 a in a very extraordinary extraordinary way in in you know for for decades come. Um, and then I wanna I wanna I'm really interested in e-commerce at that time because um, my my parents was in retail business in China. Uh, you know, growing up, uh, they were selling appliances. Um, um, I feel like a retail. Um, I was when I was at Booth. I, I also did a lot of a VC track, you know, visiting the Western Coast. Um, I just saw a lot of a, a new uh, 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 investment thesis about e-commerce. At that time, it was called a vertical e-commerce or something. Um, basically, it was just you know uh, nowadays a DTC model, right? Um, so so it was at like 2014 uh, at that time. I started having this passion. So so I was like, hey, uh, having this together, I, I think. Uh, uh, I, I wanted to go to uh, uh, at least the go-to industry that are to to learn and gain, you know, you know, uh, to to to. If you want to disrupt the industry, you have to become the experts first. That's why I kind of uh, uh, I, I wanted to go. I, that's why I, after booth, I went to uh, uh, Silicon Valley. I joined uh, Walmart e-commerce. I was the uh, I was leading uh, the cross-border e-commerce business between U.S. and China at that time, which is a really booming industry. So, so um, I th I thought that was a, a really really good role for me, um, uh, because of my uh, U.S. background, uh, you know, uh, experiences and also my Chinese background. So, so I think that, that was my 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 really my passion. That's why I went there, for for uh, right after booth. Right. I remember you were off. You went to to Walmart doing e-commerce. I thought that was amazing. And but then a couple of years later, we uh, going through the MVC teams and we choose a team called Lemon Box. I remember we decided we would admit him into the class and we sit down at the first meeting and bam, we meet the whole team and there you are. Little <laughs> did I know that the student who applied, Cindy, was your wife. But here it is, you and Cindy starting Lemon Box. And then, you know, how did, you know, obviously she, she did phenomenally well with, how did the idea of Lemon Box start? What was your inspiration here? Well, um, well, love, love, uh, glad, glad you mentioned Cindy. Um, you know, uh, Cindy and I actually met at Booth. So uh, I was a, uh, I think I was a, uh, I was a uh, class of twenty sixteen. She was a class of seventeen. So we didn't, we didn't know each other before, and we met at a booth. Um, so, so I was always, uh, you know, telling a joke to 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 all Boost classmates and, and uh, uh, fellow students. I was like, you know, I took full full advantage of the tuition, you know, <laughs> not just finding my passion and a career, also having having my and and, uh, and found my wife over there. So, so really, really uh, um, uh, <laughs> being part of it. But, but yeah, it was the idea was a uh, um, uh, again really, I I. That was my personal pain, right? Uh, every time I visited back hometown, 
uh, people just, you know, asking me to take a lot of, uh, uh, you know, vitamin supplement products from the U.S. Um, um, it was a, it was a, it was a, you can definitely see it was a, it was a grow, growing trend that uh, people want to, wanted these uh, uh, supplements, vitamins, minerals, products from the, uh, from the U.S. Um, um, and also my parents, you know, um, they were, they were, uh, they were, they were, they were, they were, they become to a certain age, you know, really, really, uh, um, I, it, to me also, I need to find a way to kind of take care of them, but being away from the family, it would just, you know, pains me. Um, that's why I always wanted to send my something to, to, the, but they don't need much of, you know, clothes and anything, but always as a, as a, as a you know, Hey, this is the supplements. It's a good product for, for them to, 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 you know, take care of their body and, and, uh, so, so it, it always started with my own personal uh, problem that I can, how can I find my, find the right products for, 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 for my parents and also for my people around me. Cause I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't think that they even, I didn't, I, I don't think that they know what they need to take at that time either. So um, not mentioning me, you know, finding the right product for them. So that was the original pain point coming from my own personal story. But it was not an isolated case. You know, it, a lot of people having the same issue, running, wanting to find the right products from the U.S. and, and the right product for themselves. That's kind of the, the idea coming from. But uh, also, like I, story, like I said, right, you know, MVC, being part of MVC just, you know, <laughs> made me a, a kind of a, uh, people wanted to, uh, a lot of people coming to me to, to, to ask about MVCs and because Cindy was one year below me. Um, so now they were like, "Hey, we were second year now. You know, can we can we can we also apply for MVC?" Now I stuck him in. You know, having this social topic. <laughs> By the way, I know a little bit of MVC because of my second time, two times MVC experiences. Uh, here, here's a kind of idea, and that's why she kind of uh, uh, at that time put it together a team of uh, I think uh, four or five uh, 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 classmates uh, from her class. And then we started applying this lemma box idea to NBC, and we got to admit it again. So that was uh, that was good. And so Cindy just basically found some classmates. Was there a strategy how she began to like put the team together? I mean, obviously we know the strategy of why you and her were on the team together, but for the others, was there a strategy that she had, or how did she pick the other team members? Of course, of course. Um, first of all, you have, you got to be passionate about this idea, right? You, you, this is uh, uh, maybe not a applied. Uh, what do you say? It, maybe this was not a a, a case a problem for for every student. So when you want to start a, start a when you start a a a a, a idea for your startup, uh, no matter it was just a program or, or or a company, I think a two two of the most important thing was uh, uh, first you gotta be passionate about this problem that you're solving. The second is uh, you're gonna be passionate about the people you are helping, right? The customers you're gonna be passionate about also. So that's why um, you know, like I said, it was this this was not an isolated case. So when she started talking about this idea with the other classmates, it was just you know uh, had a lot of clicks uh, from other uh, fellow classmates, especially people who we share the same background, like uh, you know coming from China and studying in the U.S. That's why. Uh, that's the first uh, kind of a priority. The second was uh, uh, you got to find the people who, you know, uh, that can represent a certain skill sets that you you are you, yourself is missing, right? So I think uh, she was uh, pulling uh, people that are with uh, uh, um, a marketing background, product development background, and I mean, some some of them are with a consumer a consumer healthcare background. That's one thing about Booth, right? You always can find the people that are in, in extremely talented in their spe in their own specific way uh, and a background so so um, that's why I think uh, uh, that's how kind of a strategy is putting people together that's great all right so you, you go into the you go into MVC you've got this idea you're still working full-time out of Walmart sending the teams back here you bring it through and then you hit something that again is a rarity for MVC teams while you were in the MVC, you also then went out and applied to Y Combinator. And you were able to get into Y Combinator with this idea and take it to the next level. How did it, as you were starting to look at it, what, you know, how did it shift for you? 
I mean, you learned, what did you learn in the NBC that you were able to bring into the Y Combinator to give you a leg up at YC? Um, I think, uh, I, I, um, I feel like, um, doing a startup, everybody, uh, I think every startup, uh, founder have their own path to, 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 uh, to, to, I, I wouldn't say success right now, but, you know, to, to success, to grow, uh, uh, their own path to grow and, and, uh, and, uh, become the entrepreneur of their own way. To me, I, I think, uh, um, it was always about, uh, uh, moving forward, moving forward. I think, uh, at that time, um, we, we, because of a three time of MVC, MV, MVC experiences, so every time you go through MVC, you, you, you gain a little bit of perspective, right? You know, after three times MVC, I, I, and you know, you look back and I compare it to the self, you when, when the day one that you wanted to do, create a company and start an idea, you just know, uh, you've, you've grown a lot because MVC, I think it, NBC, what NBC give you is the fundamentals, right? If you go representing the, uh, uh, the, the business plan in a classroom, uh, they give you a structure, you know, to think about uh, what's the problem always as first, you know, what kind of problem you're solving. It has to come from a, a problem you're familiar with. What's the customer, what's, what's, the, what's the people that you're helping? And uh, what's, the, uh, uh, what's the solution you are representing? And what's the industry background, what's the trend? Uh, what's the uh, what's the uh, strategy? You know, go-to-market strategy. What's the uh, and also what 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 what's uh, what, what have you done so far? You know, what's the progress up to date? Um, so these are all the same thing. Why they are asking? You know, they're, they're asking literally the same thing, exactly the same thing. Um, so so what I'm what I was thinking was a YC. Um, since we're, we're, we're doing the MEC right now, and they're really, really similar, uh, why can't I just apply to YC as well? So as you can see, I applied to uh, MEC three times. Um, I, apply, uh, I applied to YC four times. I, I you know, <laughs> I think that's kind of my personal kind of story. I, 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 whatever I do things, I, I have to do it multiple times <laughs> so I can be, uh, be good at it. But, but, you know, I, I applied the Lupo to YC as well. Uh, I applied the YC to, with the Lupo, uh, Wilio, and uh, Lemonbox. And I applied YC Lemonbox twice, uh, and I finally got admitted. And that's, uh, I think, uh, you know, MVC and, and YC, uh, one thing they share the very uh, same, uh, common, uh, commonly is that they, they like, uh, uh, what do you say, um, uh, that the people come back, you know, always come back. They they don't want my they don't want to you they 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 like you know hey this is my second time applying and this is my third time they want to see the persistency in the founders because creating a company and making something great is not easy and then uh, you uh, one thing you you have to have is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, is a commitment is a uh, is a uh, formidability right and uh, is a uh, is a uh, is a uh, persistency so. Uh, I, what I will say is the YC is uh, no difference with, uh, uh, from, uh, from NBC and uh, they, they are the, all the, they are the both the top, top, top notch program in, in the nation. Well, I mean, it was, it was a lot of fun to see how you've been, I mean, I've always known you to be tenacious and always aggressive on your points of view, which has always been exciting to see, but you did it. I mean, you, you took the lemon box, you got it through NBC. You got it through Y Combinator and you stuck with it. How did you, be, when you started to go, so what happened post that? How did you begin to like test the man before you jumped in? Or did you just jump in and say, this is going to work, let's get going? How, how'd you get started with it? So that's the one thing I learned from MVC as well, right? Um, you always, uh, you always, uh, you, 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 like you have to think through the whole, the problem side, the, the, the industry side, the trend side, the, the the exit strategy all of that technicals and you just get hit the road and then going and there's a specific ways that i learned from mvc that's called mvp right you can just test the water and if 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 the problem you're solving is a real the problem uh, the, the real problem 
and also the problem you are offering is people something people want. Is there any tweak you want to, you know, make to 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 make it uh, uh, make it work? So when I when I when I started this idea, I I, I don't create a, a you know vitamin brand uh, star uh, uh, called Lemon Bus right off the batch. I what I did was a uh, <clears throat> I actually hired a. a I, so the problem I was solving was uh, uh, helping people find the right product. So, so for, again, the first problem I was I was, uh, I was solving was uh, to find the right product for my parents. Right, that's the number one problem. How can I do that? So, so I was thinking, hey, uh, I need to create a minimum viable product. And what's the product look like? Um, so I have to solve my own problem first. Uh, so that time, I think what I needed the most was actually a nutritionist. I, I I wanted a nutritionist to talk to my parents. That's why I just hired a nutritionist, you know, to 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 pay them to talk to my parents and I find the right product for them. And and after the uh, consultation process, I I, I felt like uh, my problems was solved perfectly because that was a procedures nutritionist offering the offering the right service to 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 me as a customer so so I was like yeah this is great you know can I can I mimic this into more people so I just you know asked the nutritionist to say write down all the questions she was asking by the way she was a US registered nutritionist nutritionist so 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 I I, I wrote down the questions she was asking and I I make the the, the questionnaire the question as a survey and I sent it to 200 of my 200 of my of my friends in my in my circle and i was like hey do you have this problem finding the right vitamin products if you don't know how to do it there is a service and it's free you know just you know give me all these answer these questions i will have this u.s u.s nutritionist to help you provide the provide the answer so i got the uh, 200 questions answers and i sent it back to the nutrition i start paying her uh 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 Hourly, it was a. Uh, I was in the hey, you know, I'm gonna treat you as an AI nutritionist, but uh, people don't know. <laughs> people don't know I have you. <laughs> so, 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 how about you just, you know, getting this answer and like, start, you know, prescribe, you know, me the, the right products for my customers? And she was, yeah, it's easy, you know, because you already have me all the data. I can just, you know, do it for you. Um, then I sent it back, and then uh, these 200 customers, uh, people was like, fan fascinated by by this right? this is free and then now finally I know what to take uh, um, no that's how I get started going by by solving people's problems yeah that's that's what I'm saying is uh, when you have an idea you know you know with this experience you don't have to create any app you don't have to you know invest any you know cash or, or your, 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 your resource in, in building anything you just have to prove the problem exists and approve the concept of the product you're offering that it can help solve this problem. I think that that's, uh, that's the uh, 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 number one rule if you want, if you want to roll out a, a product uh, first to test the, the, the concept first. Yeah, I mean, you're always diligent yeah. to do that, but I do remember when we were in MVC, I asked one time, how are you going to get this built? And I remember you just chuckling and saying, I grew up in China, we know how to build things here. And you were able to like figure out how to package things and do things. But I mean, so out of this 200 person survey, is this where you got your first customers? How did you get your first customers for Lemon Box? Yeah, these are all customers. Some, some of them, they started wanting to pay us, right? They was like, hey, I, I don't want to, you know, you give me all these ideas and everything. I don't want to, I don't want to, you know, search all the products. How about you just, you know, start, start, you know, sending me products and I, I can, I can, I can, I can, I can, you know, I can pay you. Um, so with this 200, you know, <clears throat> with these first 200 uh, customers, they'll give you uh, tons of uh, ideas. And that they, if they have a real needs, you know, always ask them to pay. Uh, and, and then you will have ideas how you launch your products and, and uh, your directions. Great, so you decide you're gonna move yes. back to China, fully committed to Lemon Box. How did you go about getting funding? That was a, uh, what do you say? Uh, I, 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 I went back to China 2017, um, end of 2017. Um, 
I was uh, I was uh, really excited, you know. I was like, uh, hey, you know, I've uh, um, this is a great idea, and then uh, um, with a, uh, I think a uh, three years of uh, <clears throat> two, uh, two or three years of uh, my work experience in a, in a, at Walmart, uh, which was really relative to what I do because there was a cross border. I basically kind of uh, figured out all the sourcing side of business, uh, global supply chain, and then all the solutions that I have for this cross border e-commerce business was uh, was uh, was a uh, kind of a uh, very mature and ready. Um, but it was still, still, like I said, you know, it was still, still different experience. After eight years of time in, in, a U, in the U.S., now I'm kind of a reverse culture shock, right? It's, it was a kind of reverse culture shock. I, 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 I entered China. I was a, uh, I kept the, you know, I kept the. Uh, speaking English to the investors, they're like, no, 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 yeah. <laughs> but but in my in the next to mad English right now, it's being it's being a little uh, rusty. But um, it was just a uh, it was just a uh, 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 very different, different, right? Very different. China is uh, very different from a Silicon Valley in a fundraising perspective. I started looking for uh, investors, but uh, um, um, I, I I ended up talking to two hundred investors, uh, two hundred investors. It was a. Uh, it was a. Uh, I think it was no go for most of them. Um, uh, I think I spent the first six months in uh, doing fundraising, um, but you know, finally it was a uh, was a uh, uh, like uh, YC at that time YC twenty eighteen. They came back to. They came to. They start entering China. Um, um, I, I think uh, how I get the first funding was a YC entering China. Uh, they were doing a local event in Beijing. And, uh, and uh, they were like, uh, um, they were looking for local uh, uh, startups that are, that are, that are fit their po uh, uh, background uh, and a profile. And I, I started, you know, doing some uh, coffee chat with them. Say, hey, you know, by the way, this is my fourth time applying to YC. Um, uh, uh, I had a three time of uh, uh, applications back in the U.S. Um, at that time, they really liked me and, and accept me. That's my that actually was my 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 first uh, uh, fundraising. So when you got to your investors, did you pick your investors? Did they pick you, or how how did you decide who you wanted to have be your early investors? Um, well, I don't think I was picking them. Uh, <laughs> so basically, uh, that uh, in the, in, the, in the, it, it always uh, it, this old Chinese phrase that it was everything starts uh, in the beginning was the most difficult, right? Um, so I didn't really in a position to 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 find uh, to pick here and there i was newcomer in a in a in a in a in a tech tech community world a tech consumer community world in, in china um so so basically um um i was a it, it was a it was a mode of uh, picking whatever is available for you but you know i was i'm but i, I, I was lucky you know uh, the investors i found that they 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 offered me the the the, the the, the capital and uh, offer me the opportunity that means they like me and, and uh, that means uh, it also means a lot of things uh, that's why uh, until today they, they I have I still have a very good relationship with the investors now the companies are doing much much better uh, growing fast and they are they also made the right decision um, I know we still stayed a very close relationship with Anna, and I, I, I think uh, yeah I was lucky to to find the right investors well and I think they were lucky to find you because Back three years ago, they decided to invest in you. You were just out of Y Combinator. You had idea. You had your 200 um, surveys done. You had your U.S. nutritionist. You didn't have to keep bringing um, U.S. pharmaceutical, uh, U.S. Uh, nutraceutical products back to China. And you basically, you, you got funded. And what's happened with Lemonbox since then? Where are you today? <clears throat> so basically, at that time, um, what, what back in my mind was uh, um, I really, really wanted to bring this uh, direct-to-consumer experience uh, uh, model um, that applied to China market because um, I feel like uh, uh, from the consumer world, each each category of products, each 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 products they have uh, they serve different purpose for users for consumers. Um, like I, my 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 like like uh, what's the most what's the most famous. DDC brand in the U.S. was a 
I think of Warby Parker, right? Warby Parker, like Warby Parker, what, what, what Warby Parker offers was uh, uh, when you were choosing classes, uh, whatever problem you have this, you know, class, uh, classes shopping experiences, Warby Parker will offer you with technologies and, and online services. And the same thing with the, with the vitamin, you know, a category. When, when, whenever you wanted to start uh, 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 purchasing vitamins for your family, for yourself, they, they will they will have different problems in each you know phases uh, phrase it each 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 each, each, each stages right uh, you're like pre sale stage you don't know what to buy and then when you are when you purchase all the vitamin you forget what to take and you know you don't know if uh, different product mixed together will be okay to use and then uh, when you start taking uh, um, you have some a, a lot of uh, problems uh, or questions you will have that you need help with the uh, nutritionists. So you combine everything together. I feel like uh, there is a way that you can improve uh, 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 the, the entire experiences um, um, other than just having a local store uh, that you can interact with when you are just, you know, paying them, right? So so that's the whole experiences. I wanted to, uh, uh, I feel like there's opportunity that I can bring things together and create more thorough experiences for the, 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 for the market. That's why, but the idea was pretty new in China, uh, in terms of DTC, the whole experience, because most of the time, uh, like I told two decades ago, you're buying or offline and then a, a decade ago it was just, you know, starting shopping on, 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 on big e-commerce pl platforms. So, yeah. uh, but, yeah. but, but, but. But it was a, it was a, it was the, that that's that's how creating the whole thorough experience was just uh, uh, what we're doing, and uh, I think we're doing well in that perspective. You know, just creating. We have now have a, a million people have used us, one million one, one million users you have been using us, and uh, we've been solving. Um, the company has been growing like fifty percent over month to month. So 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 I think we've done something right by offering the right experience and the products. I mean, that, that's just amazing numbers. I, I remember when we were talking one time, you said there's just a lot of people in China. We just need to get a small amount of them. But to get a million customers is pretty amazing. So as you laid out your plan in NBC and, and your, your whole business plan and everything, how, how is it doing compared to what your original plan was? What, what's changed as you've learned this by now, putting it into effect and being committed to it? How is it what did you do different than what your original business plan called for? Um, I think it's very different um, in, in, in some ways, but also uh, very the same in, in, a, in, a, in a way of uh, having the same vision, right? Like I said, the vision was to help my parents find the right products and the services. Now my parents are just taking the vitamins, you know, my products every day, and, and I feel very good about it. And, and now my parents, all my families, my friends around me, uh, I think I'm just solving the problems, you know, um, you know, my, 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 Cindy and I just had a, a, a baby, right? Uh, um, a one year old, we were very lucky to have him. And then, uh, when Cindy was, Cindy was, uh, uh, having the baby and she's also taking the, 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 our own products, vitamins. So by solving the same problems, by, 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 by solving these problems, uh, I think, uh, you have to have the uh original mission the vision of why you're creating this company are you just you know you know wanted to try something new or or uh, uh you know having experience or, or you just wanted to solve the the problems so um i think that, that from that perspective it, it didn't change a bit since the beginning um but you know in terms of products uh, hey i'm offering this you know uh, label products, you know, we, we're offering just a gummy product line and, and we, we are offering, uh, we're offering a new product called super stick, you know, uh, um, in a, in a powder fashion and, and it's customized vitamins. I think, I think that these are, uh, uh, uh just techniques in the product lines, it, it, it evolve uh, with, with the, with the markets and with the needs and with the timing. So these are all change uh, quite a bit, but, uh, but from the vision, from the from the mission, it haven't hasn't changed that since day one. But well, one of the things I was amazed about with you and Cindy when you're starting Lemon Box was you. I mean, in how you were able to 
be working full time at Walmart, starting up Lemon Box, going into Y Combinator, flying back and forth to China, and how did how did you juggle it all? I mean, you know how, how I mean I've, I hear from students all the time. I'm always so so busy, but I mean you you were extremely busy and you made it look so simple. What tips and secrets do you have to all of these uh, students that are in NVC about how to get a lot done in a short window of time? Because you sure did it. I, I don't know. I'm a, I, um, you know, Mark, I, I, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I, I just enjoy doing this, you know, applying to NVC was not a, a for example, if, 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 if like, like now we're at booth, right. We're just running around with, with, with all these, uh, homework, you know, projects. And sometimes you just work through the midnight, you know, meeting people, you know, socialing. I, it's the same now it, to me, it was just, Hey, I'm just doing homework. You know, <laughs> you know, I, I, I work in the daytime, you know, uh, um, and uh, you know, when, when we get off the work, I got to do some reading. I got to do some, you know, homework. I had to finish all these projects. It's just kind of a lifestyle. I continue the, uh, since booth. It was, uh, and I find myself really fulfilling and enjoying this, you know, doing all these things. It, to me, it was not work. It never work. It was just, you know, continue my boost, you know, kind of a habits, which I still wanted to thank boost to, you know, bringing this kind of a, uh, helping me grow these habits, you know, for the future and uh, the growing forward. Um, it was, it was really not a work. It, it was just, you know, I enjoyed doing this. Uh, uh, that's why when I was in Sinanga Valley, um, every, basically I was evening time and the weekends, I was always thinking about, uh, um, the things that I wanted to, you know, uh, you know, uh, continue to pass. That's my passion. That's, that's when you find the real passion and every bit of uh, time and, and efforts investing your passion, you find lucky. You know, like I, when I was applying for booth, I feel myself as a lucky, lucky person because I, I found my passion. So, so, so I, it was never work. So, so I think, uh, that's, 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 that's kind of a, hopefully can answer your question. But that passion brought lemon box. I mean, to have a million customers, what, what do you see in the next few years for lemon box? Where are you going to go? I mean, the one thing I remember about you is, you know, a lot of times students are very conservative. You were never conservative. You were always aware, confident, but I had a plan, but you, you knew where you were going. Where's lemon box going? Um, so first of all, uh, I want to, I want to ask uh, the first part. I want to answer uh, kind of a, uh, to your question, if what kind of person I am, right? I, 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 I think, I think, I think I'm, I don't, I don't think, uh, I don't know if I'm like per, uh, conservative or aggressive, you know, in, in a different way, but, um, I, one thing when I, I want to share with the, uh, all, all the fellow, you know, booth students and classmates, NBC, uh, students. One lesson I learned the most from a, from a booth was, a it's actually a device from a professor, Stephen Kaplan. Um, I think it was the last class that I took from a, a Stephen Ka a Ka a Cap a professor Kaplan's class. And uh, she, uh, he, he shared a parting words for all the classmates. He said, uh, um, basically he said, uh, uh, uh you know, you know, just aim high and and think long term. I I I I I just took that at, into my heart. You know, whatever I do uh, for my career, um, for for things, uh, you know, for now for the company, I I, I always keep myself to remember. Uh, you have to aim high. Uh, it doesn't matter uh, what kind of a, a difficulties, obstacles you encountered during the in front of you for a short time. You know. But you have to aim high. You know, you got you got to jump for it. And I think long term is, uh, you know, like I said, it doesn't matter what, what you see in a foreseeable future. Uh, just keep working on it, and and, and uh, things will turn around. Um, that's kind of I I see myself as uh, for my career. That's why I, I kind of uh, uh, you know find my passion. I know it was uh, it, 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 not a lot of people understood what kind of my choices, and in the beginning, but gradually people will know. This is my passion. This is a long-term thinking. This is my aim high kind of a moment. Um, and also for my company, the same. Um, we now just, you know, like I said, it's a 1 million customers, but there's a, a 1.4 billion people over there, right? And then uh, there is, a, we're not gonna solve for all,
but I think uh, uh, there's a, like I said, there's a lot of people sharing the same problems. Uh, uh, first of all, we wanted to expand this business to, 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 to help more people. And I, we literally will receive letters from a user say, hey, um, you know, the product solved a lot of my problems. And this is the happy moments that, are, that are we, we feel like uh, uh, we existed for a reason. And then uh, we want to apply this for more people. Um, and the secondly, I, I, I always see this company as a technology company, like I said in the very beginning. You know, um, I wanted to enter the technology world. That's why as a consumer, mar a consumer brand, we, we, one of my co-founders is actually CTO who, who graduated from a, a, a University of Indiana. Uh, we met actually, you know, in Chicago. And that we kind of came back and, you know, and we, we grew. That's why uh, I, we also wanted to expand this service to new uh, industry, uh, new categories. For example, now a lot of people are, are wanting this one-on-one uh, -on -one nutritionist experience. Uh, we were just offering these products. Now I think we can, you know, uh, entering. Also, we have opportunity to create a two-sided, two-sided platform, like a video, you know, two-sided platform. Um, become a, 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 a you know a solution provider uh, by by grouping these U.S. registered nutritionists that we, we that we have access to, and uh, to to people who wanted this more premium service. I think that's kind of a you know passion in myself. Uh, um, and and uh, we're just now, uh, um, there's a huge gap between the, you know, service or we're offering and uh, the people we're going to go to. So, so, so um, that's kind of where we're, uh, it was in my mind. Well, obviously well, you have a passion for it. You love the job. Um, you're very fortunate to be married with Cindy and she understands the challenges having gone through it herself, but it's not all roses all the time. So, so what's one of the toughest parts of your job and how did you address it? <laughs> that's a good question, but you know, there's a lot. Um, the lot. I, I, it's hard to pick one. It's really hard to pick one. But uh, um, I'll say, I'll say, if if I want to share with the, my our our class our classmates and fellow students, um, I think on the most the most most difficult, the most important part is uh, to find the right people, right? Um, especially if you are starting your own business, you have to find the right partners, the co-founders, uh, because these people are going to go into uh, difficult battles, you know, uh, with you. And you're going to have arguments, right? You're going to have uh, 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 endless, you know, fights. And, and uh, you know, because you're coming from a different background, you have to have diverse background in, 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 in your group. If everybody was, you know, from an iBanking background, everybody's coming from a one industry, it's going to be difficult. So because you have a diverse background, uh, um, which is much needed, and, and you have different views, uh, it, it, that's why you find the right people that are you, you share this common goal, and you have a, you share the common vision, and, and you, you also complement with each other. And you, when you, you, know, you fight, and you also uh, can, can kind of uh, come back, and become a re, re, reunite with the, with the, with as a team as a unit to conquer different problems, um, and also every time you fight, you you, you grow from it, you, you learn something from it, and it become a company culture. That's that's a, I think that's the strong team. This is the most important thing. Uh, always reach out to people. Always you know if you're in the school, have a drink with somebody. You know you know talk to somebody about your passion. Um, and, and, and I think a school is definitely, definitely the best place to, 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 to meet people. Um, you might not, you might not, you know, come together, you know, within the school year, but in a, in a career, you know, you're going to be, you know, in, in, a, in a couple of years to come, you might maybe regroup. And that's why I think, uh, I think, you know, it's really my, it's, it was just my, uh, uh, my, my, my fortune to, to have a school like U Chicago as, as, in my, you know, as my background. Yeah. U Chicago is a special place. I mean, that's one of the reasons why for our conversation today, I didn't just want to do it from home. I wanted to come and do it in a classroom because there's such an energy and such a great environment of being with others in, in that setting. So, but at the same time, I mean, the, you, you got us so many different things. What was one of the biggest positive surprises you had in your business? Things you, that it blew away your expectations. Wow. Um, uh, 
Well, you know, I the business of lawing it's a it's a it's a it's a it's fascinating. Um, I think I think uh, again uh, to me it's not about the numbers. It's really not about the numbers. The numbers are are. I feel like uh, exciting, and then the, the 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 but it's cold, right? It's cold. I I, I we're really passionate. What really really makes me, you know, positively. That that gave me the positive feeling was about uh, uh, some customers write us letters. You know, um, they 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 they. I think that there's one letter that we received from a customer. It was a. Um, it was a, you know, in China, there were different tier of cities and a tier one, you know, Shanghai and Beijing and a tier two, uh, uh, some, uh, more, more developed areas. And uh, we, we received some letter from, a from, a uh, maybe like tier four, you know, uh, in a, in a small, small town. Um, and then they were like, uh, they, they, they write us letters. It was like, Hey, are, are, are these a real products? Are these real products? Because, uh, you know the price that that are you offering is 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 a much 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 lower than than the products that I was getting from my uh, uh, the, the 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 current channel. I, I think I think I think uh, uh, in these lower tier cities, you know, in these small towns, they 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 what they are getting was from a from a from a from a from a from a from some channel like a, a pyramid scheme, right? They, they they were offered with extremely experienced pro, uh, expensive products, and then they were uh, offering some uh, not 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 very authentic uh, nutritional advices because of our servers, uh, uh, you know, give them a different choice, uh, different different options, uh, and and uh, they were just thanking us. You know, these are if if there's real products, and it just help me save a lot of my 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 their 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 their, their savings, and then. Uh, because and they're they're having a real uh, health needs with this nutritionist uh, nutritional help. Um, I think I think when you receive these uh, these products, uh, just it amazes you, right? Because they are thanking you. They just uh, question you, hey, why are you offering much much cheaper than 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 my my product? If this is real, just saving their 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 day to day uh, uh, needs, right? So so when you receive these uh, these letters and from customers, just give you. Mm, tons of positive uh, uh, positive energy and and, uh, and you know you are doing something right because because we're, we're not solving the one per one percent of uh, people's issues we're solving we're offering like you know you know very affordable products authentic products and in and, and, and a very scalable uh, experiences and services to lots and lots of people and who need help i think that just gives you a lot of positive uh moments yeah that's cool i mean but to go from a startup where I remember when I saw you in the classroom, you were hoping to get your first 20 customers to now having more than a million customers. What did you learn at Booth that has really helped you get ready to run a business that's got a million customers? Um, fundamentals, you know, um, from a, it's all about fundamentals. We, we, I, like I said, you know, we, we Booth just give you a lot of a fundamental kind of a methodologies, uh, technicals, and also spirits. Uh, I can share a ton. I sure can share a ton. First is a work ethic. Everybody at Booth works extremely hard, and we don't complain about it, right? Just and 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 also uh, give you the also you know strike for greatness. You know that kind of a competitive spirit. You, you wanna be. You wanna be. And uh, you, everybody know if you wanna do to be the top. You know to 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 and, uh, to. to 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 achieve a few things in your life and in your career, you have to work hard. Um, and secondly, it was about um, the, the the things you learn from the classroom. It's not about, like I said, MVC, right? It give you a framework. It won't give you technicals. Hey, uh, how you create this product? How you design the logo? No, it's about the framework. It's about hey, you got to. If you want to apply a, a, a million user and a, a, a ten million, a hundred million users, you have to find the right product in uh, the sorry, the right problem in the beginning, right? And uh, everything start with uh, the one problem and how you can apply one problem to a ten million, a hundred million. 
uh, you don't you don't start thinking things backwards. Hey, what's the one hundred million people uh, the problem and uh, back backwards, um, and also also is is a network. You know, um, is a network. It's it's just you know you, you have. The, there's uh, the first uh, uh, when 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 I was doing the YC right. I think we were found, uh, we were kind of sort of a, uh, a cloud fundraising. You know, there's a round called cloud fundraising. I, I, when I was doing YC, I have to stay in YC for a couple of weeks and a month uh, to do the demo day, right? I, I crashed the. I was crashing uh, my friend's uh, living room. Uh, there was a classroom, a uh, booth class in the living room. Sorry, a booth classmates in the living room. And then, uh, and then uh, I think uh, the first check from the YC founding round was for my classmates. And I it's still <laughs> in in a booth classmates. There 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 are a couple of uh, I think we have four or five uh, booth classmates also investing in us uh, this company. Um, I think uh, some of them are also listening today. So um, hi, Kathy, <laughs> how are you? But so that's why I think uh, <laughs> I think uh, I think these are the things that you just feel so warm when you are in the past to achieve something that is difficult, and you have a people around you that support you. Uh, that also uh, much I'm much appreciate. Well, in the MVC, I mean, we've got 29 teams in the MVC this year for the celebration of MVC at 25, and they've just finished their first round presentations. Uh, in a little over a week, they're going to be doing their second round presentations. As someone who's been down this path multiple times successfully, what advice would you give the current teams as they're getting ready to go into their, their rounds that count, their second round classroom presentations? What advice would you give them? Um, well, I, I, I feel like, um, well, first of all, I, I didn't really get the, uh, you know, <clears throat> I didn't win much of you know championships or anything from MVC. Hopefully, my advice also applies. But um, for my own experience about MVC, right? Um, uh, first of all, I think uh, three things. One thing is uh, go all out, right? MVC is a tough, tough competition. It's very competitive. It's the number one in the nation. Everybody wants to do an MVC, um, but you might get. But you know, it's it's really hard to even experience an MVC. That's why when you are in MVC, don't hold anything back. You know, make things happen. You know, get the numbers. Go talk to your customers. You know, get your first to sign up. You know, and, and sell your first products, and get all these things because in a startup way, all these things is the in the very beginning uh, phases is the the real uh, lesson that you're gonna learn for the business and kind of shape your strategy down the road because because you know the business from day one from the ground up. So these are experiences are the most most important. Don't so just go all out and don't hold anything back. Um, so that's my first advice. The second is a uh, uh, enjoy the process, right? Again, like I said, this is a uh, this is something something that uh, that I can all you can always remember. You don't not everybody might go into the entrepreneurial route, but you know it's gonna help you tremendously uh, 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 down the road well, for whatever job you do. You know. Uh, um, in, a, in a corporate world, in, in, a, in, a, in a startup life, in, in, a, in, a, in, a, in an investment world, it's all going to help you uh, in, in down the road. The third, I think the last piece is uh, MVC might not be the uh, final destination. It might be the, it might be a vital starting point for a new, for, for a new path, right? Like I said, I didn't really uh, win the first prize or the second in the MVC path, but I just feel like uh, every MVC time, I, I learn something. Just keep it going over there, um, and I, I, it helped me down the road of when I when I apply to YC, when I doing the real company, uh, the real world company. So 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 um, it's 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 just really a vital start, a vital starting point. I got to tell you, Derek. I mean, oh, yeah. the tenacity you have, the ability to go at it that you have, there is no doubt in my mind that. You know, you're going to have an amazing business opportunity of growing Lemon Box. I mean, I fully expect next time we talk to here that you're on your path to 100 million. This has been <laughs> a spectacular night. I mean, thank you very much. Thank you. Well, I say night, it's morning for you. Thank you for coming in early this morning. But more importantly, thank you for being so frank and so open about what your experience here was. As we celebrate the MVC at 25, 
I mean, you've definitely proven that while MVC is a very special process, it's really the students that really make it so special. So thank you very much for taking the time and spending it with us this evening for this fireside chat. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Bye.